Well, good afternoon, everybody. Let me talk to you for a moment about reopening our campus for more opportunities. Now, as soon as I say that, some of you are going to be really excited. And some of you are going to be a little bit nervous, but let me share some thoughts with you this afternoon. And now I ask that if you would listen to all the way to the end of this, this isn't your typical update. And I'm not going to be giving any axioms or anything like that today. I'm just going to give you information. It's very important for the life of our church. So now when the C-19 epidemic, now pandemic, started, nobody knew what we were facing. So what did the church do? In accordance with the Iowa Department of Health and other health services, we basically just shut down everything in person here at Grace Church beginning March the 15th, and we did everything online. Now, our staff is to be commended. They quickly adjusted, created all kinds of digital content, and still are reaching out to our church family and community by this means. But we're at a place now that we have better understanding of this virus. The vulnerabilities have been identified, specifically the elderly, people with underlying health problems, and so on. So we, the elders, now this is not the Phil Winfield Show. This is the body of elders at Grace Church. We believe it's time to further open our ministries, including on-campus opportunities for those who are able to do so. Five weeks ago, just about five weeks ago, we indicated that we would open in measured and incremental steps. Now, we're doing that. Christian community and interaction are of utmost importance to the health and growth of the body of Christ. And I think we can agree on that. Christianity is something you live in community. You do it in community. And so we believe that children, teens, young adults, and adults all need the church, the body. The steps indicated uh, that I'm going to read in just a few moments, the steps indicated um, is, uh, is, is not meant to encourage anyone to ignore their own health situation to return prematurely. Yet, what we're doing this afternoon is giving options. We're giving choices to people according to your own personal health situation. We want to let the choice be up to individuals regarding their level of participation. No one is obligated to on-campus ministry. Live streaming is going to continue. In fact, it's, it's a staple at our church. We want it to be there for this purpose and for people who travel and for missionaries overseas and shut-ins and people when they're sick. So live streaming isn't going anywhere. It's going to be there for you. Now, please note the following, and Matt and I are going to share this so that we don't get bored hearing Phil talk, but now just listen very carefully, and this first thing that I say is very important. The times of our services at the church will change beginning Sunday, July the 26th. Now, this Sunday is July the 19th. As we have been doing, we will do this Sunday. But on the 26th, or a week from Sunday, there are some changes. And here's the first one. Uh, our first service will be at 8.30 in the morning. Now, we are accustomed to this. This is what we had as our regular starting time each Sunday before we got into the COVID-19 crisis. This service will observe social distancing. That is every other pew block and six-foot car six cardboard spacers. And the seating will be directed. Then you, the second thought is, is you will no longer need to register for this service. We pretty much got this calculated. We think that we have enough space in the auditorium that we don't need to register for the auditorium service. Now, this is new. On the 26th at the 8, 8.30 a.m. service, child care will be provided up through preschool age. But you need to register your children each week on the registration link that Pastor Brian will send out to you weekly. You say, why are we having to register children if we don't register the auditorium? The auditorium can handle far more people, and we want to make sure that we, we are leaving enough space in each of the smaller classrooms for the children. So please do as we ask and register that way. Then there is a 10 o'clock service. Make sure you hear that. On the, 20, on the 26th, there'll be an 8.30 a.m. service and a 10 a.m. service. The 10 a.m. service is the live streaming service. So for those of you out there that are doing live streaming and you're going to continue to do that, if you turn on at 9.30, you're not going to find anything. It's going to be at 10 o'clock in the morning. This service, the 10 a.m. service, will be self-seating with responsible distancing. 
Now, don't get in mind that it's just going to be a free-for-all and we're all going to sit on top of each other. It's not going to be that. But it is going to be self-seating with responsible distancing. You will not need to register for the services in the auditorium. However, child care will be provided up through preschool age, just like the first service. You'll register your children, just as we said before, on a registration link that Pastor Brian will send out to you each week. Then... There's another change on August the 2nd. In other words, one week later on August the 2nd, children's ministries through elementary or up to the fifth grade will begin to meet. Again, you will be registering your children by way of the link that Pastor Brian will send you each week. And he's also sending out a letter. I'm not going to give you all the details, but he's sending out a letter. You may already have it that will explain exactly what's happening and what you need to do to register your children. Please follow their, uh, their instructions completely. Now, pay attention. We're not done yet. Uh, Brother Matt is going to continue. Here's a little bit of further information for you, church family. Just a couple of reminders. First, face masks are available but not required as things have happened. Right. Uh, all sanitation measures will continue after each of the services. So right. that will continue as it was. Uh, a no-contact policy will continue to be encouraged for everyone's safety. Uh, adult groups and classes can meet. Uh, classroom space, uh, however, needs to be confirmed for time and for availability. And so we are encouraging you, if your group does want to meet, to call the office and to let us know uh, your right. needs so that we can accommodate you uh, as best as we can. Uh, the building is available, brothers and sisters, for meetings and Bible studies and groups, etc. cetera. Uh, again, we would love for you to call the church uh, in order to reserve the room. Uh, and then, of course, responsible distancing will be encouraged for these settings as well. That's important for us to remember. Uh, in regards to a few other things, we will continue to present format for Wednesday through August and then reassess. So uh, our, our the digital content, table talk, student ministry, young adults, the, it looks like those things are going to continue and then we'll reassess in August right. through, yep. through the rest of this month. Uh, please uh, consider using our online giving options. You've been doing so well with this church family. We're so grateful uh, versus handwritten checks. Uh, the, the situation is fluid. We may need to make some changes to respond. And so we're very, very grateful for your usage mm. of that. They've responded yeah. so well. Uh, we, we are very, very concerned for your health and safety. Um, and so please, if you are ill, uh, have someone with, with C-19 in your home or have existing underlying health problems, please uh, please make use of the live stream on Sundays and refrain from any on-campus attendance. And again, that's a similar line we've been we've been promoting to you uh, since, since these Absolutely. things started. And so once again, we want to remind you as we, as, we, as we come to the end here, the changes that Pastor shared just a few minutes ago about our services begin July 26th. That's right. This upcoming Sunday, July 19th, business as usual, changes will begin there on, um, on July 26th. And so, friends, we, we, we pray uh, soon that the grip of COVID-19 will be history. Uh, we don't know the Amen. we don't know the future, but we do know the one who holds the future. That's right. Um, it's never it, it's always a good decision to trust an unknown future to the God that we know. And so we just are continuing to encourage us all uh, all to do that. And so we're just aiming to provide uh, many choices and opportunities for our Grace Church family to participate. Amen. And so, uh, brothers and sisters, thank you. Yes. Uh, we're we're just so grateful for you, and we're looking forward forward to worshiping with you this Sunday. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.